Hey, what's up? I think we're live. We got a funny camera angle here. <laughs> Welcome to Eddie's Grill. <laughs> what's up? Uh, live on a Thursday night. We got a gig tomorrow night. Let me check the weather. Weather permitting. It's been hot and sticky and a little bit rainy here. Clear now. Let's see what it says for tomorrow. Friday, rain showers. Let's go with Friday. 12 a.m., 1 a.m., 8 a.m., mostly cloudy. 8 a.m., 4 p.m., 5 p.m., mostly cloudy. 6 p.m., partly sunny. Oh, that's when we start at 6 p.m. 7, partly sunny. 8 p.m., sunny. 9 p.m. We're going to get it in. I think we're going to get it in. So we're going to play from 6 to 10. That's going to be good. Who's out there? We had four people. Now we got two people. If you see from my uh, thumbnail that went sideways, we were at Eddie's Grill today. I'm going to take a picture with my phone and that upload it to Google Photos and then download it to my computer and then put it in a thumbnail. It comes out sideways unless I edit the picture, kind of, but I don't know. So if you're out there, say something. Say something. Say hello. So, how is your week going so far? Mine's been not too bad. Layla's Guitar Daddy. Hey, how you doing, man? Spike. Something. Spike, if you can make it up here, you need to check out the Triangle Lounge at Geneva on the Lake. It's right at the 531 Y split at the east end of the strip where Old Lake Road goes to the park. And it's there's the Y split there. They built that new store. There's Geneva on the Lake Brewing Company and the Triangle Lounge. And the Triangle is a nice place. They, they got decent food. It's the cleanest, the cleanest bar on the Strip, without a doubt. The Anchor Inn is the largest. The Anchor Inn has the most beds at Geneva on the Lake on the Strip, so it's really cool. And we'll be there tomorrow from 6 to 10. It's supposed to be nice. Hopefully the stage will be dry. Should be. It's got a canopy over it. This is a funny camera angle because I got, I got articulating camera arm, and it's off to the side of my computer screen, and it's not like sitting on top of my monitor anymore, where I'd look right at it. It's kind of over here, but. But that be what it may. Be what it may. So what's everybody been doing? Got my, uh, working a little bit with my new thumb pick. Now this is going to be out of tune really bad. <laughs> see that nobody can see the guitar. Cookie is all think I'm an outlaw. They'll never come and see me in the sky. The bikers stare at cowboys. We're laughing at the hippies. We're praying they'll get out of here alive. 
Yeah, the loud punk in the corner's getting to me. Talking about my earring and my hair. I guess he ain't read the sign. He said I've been in prison. Someone ought to warn him before I knock him off this chair. But my long hair just don't cover up my redneck. I've won every fight I've ever fought. And I don't need some turkey telling me that I ain't country. That I ain't worth some little digging daddy ball. Made a 30 inch scale bass six string. Champ style reverb amp. Oh. Did you make it like is it a parts guitar? Parts is parts? Did you purchase parts? Did you have parts? Were you given parts? Uh, let's see, the 30 inch scale bass six string, it, is it like a, uh, what body style, is it a Fender type body style or something more erratic like Yamaha or Schecter or Ibanez with a big long horn on the top? Big long horn, yo. No picks, poop. You don't use picks? I use lots of picks. I use these kind of picks. I use my favorite are the old Tortex picks, actually. Uh, DM-127 twin blade pick P style. Okay, so precision style. And I've been playing a lot, lot, lot with the Herco Herco nylon the gold pick the gold pick and I've been I, I like these the ni the nylon picks are good they are uh they they don't get sharp and they don't break. But see, I grew up using Fender Medium. The old, you know, just this color of the old Fender picks. This is a Dunlop thumb pick. That's a Dunlop thumb pick. Uh, I'm used to the feel of the old Tortex, but they wear out really quick. Like, they get sharp in you know one hour one hour of playing now i spent a lot of time playing with the 0.73 millimeter dunlop tortex okay i i right these are not tortex these are celluloid celluloid picks the old celluloid picks are what i grew up on and For the acoustic, I like a little thinner, bendable plastic that that doesn't make your wrist hurt when you're strumming a lot on the acoustic. Yeah, Fender Medium. Cut the DJs off the I'm an outlaw. They'll never come and see me in this dive Where bikers stare at cowboys Who are laughing at the hippies Who pray and pray and they'll get out of your life There's a lot of mouth in the corners getting to me Talking about my earring and my hair Yeah, when I can hang to a pick. That's why I've been trying to mess around with these thumb picks because I'm having trouble holding picks. I'm not having trouble holding them. I'm having trouble feeling.
feeling them. Now with the thumb pick, I kind of haven't figured out how to do a good pinch harmonic yet with it. Maybe on an upstroke with your finger kind of behind the pick. I had it going one day I was doing it and it wasn't working out too bad. But, oh, it's, a, it's an iffy thing. Oh, I got I got a really good uh, clip of a phone scammer that I have to put into a video. The, these dumbasses, man, they're they're something else. They're they're really incredible. I'm surprised the phone's not ringing, but it's after nine o'clock. They quit around eight thirty, nine o'clock. They usually quit, but they call all day long. They call and call and call. And uh, I, I got a good one. I got a good one this morning, man. This guy was a dumbass. I had him convinced I lived next door to the White House and that uh, my name was Forrest Gump. And I, I know the Bubba Gump, the Bubba Gump Shrimp Company, and that I was a gazillionaire. And he was from he was from the Spectrum, and he was gonna give me. A five dollar discount on my monthly bill, and I said, "Come on, man! I'm a gazillionaire." Oh yeah, they know who they know your name. They they recite my name and address right back to me all the time, but I always deny it, deny it, deny it, deny it. I always deny it. I just waste their time as long as I can. Some of them, some of them think I'm funny. I've a, a, actually had like I'd put the hold music on, and they think I'm funny. Let me see if I can bring up my hold music without screwing things up. I'll say, "Your call is very important to us. Please remain on the line and be transferred to the next available operator." Some of them actually like that music. It's freaking hilarious. Oh my God. You rang. May I be of service to you, sir? <laughs> oh God. How do you spell alert, sir? L U R C H. Adams. <laughs> Who's telling me that they've been watching a lot of Adams family and that Lurch was his last name, but I don't know. Those are always entertaining. Funny, funny stuff, funny stuff. Smoke them if you got them, folks. September 17th is my birthday. I'll be in North Carolina. And I am going to try to quit. Quit smoking. Of course, to do that, I'll be 63. Hey, happy belated birthday, dude. You made it this far, right? Made it to 60? That's a big one. Yeah, 60's a big one. Going back to Mayberry, Vince. Hey, Vince, yeah. I saw George today. I was coming back from the lake, and he was riding down 13th Street on his electric bicycle. And I told him, I told him I sent you the pictures. Yeah, we're going back to Mayberry. Mount Airy, North Carolina. Actually, my sister lives in a place called State Road that is in Elkin, near Elkin. So Elkin 
it's not that far over the Virginia line. You get through West Virginia and you get through Virginia, and as soon as you get out of Virginia into North Carolina, you're almost to Elkin. It's real close. I don't think I don't think it's. I don't know if it's an hour or not. It's not far. It's not far to the Virginia line. It's an eight-hour drive. But, uh, I was hoping to see John Pearson in here. He, he, uh, He likes my curmudgeon, curmudgeonly old man videos, which I plan to make more curmudgeon videos. You know, I don't want to complain about people too much because I don't know, but I'm going to start complaining about people and putting it on Patreon. And what, what I really would like people to do is I'm putting full sets of the band, the full sets up with like everything. And uh, there's one set I put up where the drummer goes into a song that we did not know he was gonna go into and he starts the drum beat and he tells me what the song is and I tell Linda, she's trying to find it in her book. She finds it in her book and she goes to adjust her light or something and the book falls off the music stand. Well, the shelf on the music stand is only like this wide. I made her order a new music stand that came today that has a shelf this wide that it won't fall off. And she said she can actually even put her iPad on that, with, which I'm not real cool with her putting her iPad on the shelf of the book music stand. I'd rather have it on the mic stand than the iPad holder, but it's totally up to her because it's her stuff. But, uh, over there, I'm, I'm going to post some curmudgeonly videos, and I'm going to put a lot of curmudgeonly videos over on on Patreon. But the the thing about it is, this this community, and I said this before, there there are a few guys. They're all named Dave. Dave Byron, Dave Levine. They post their gigs, okay? They post them as they're playing them live, which I can't do with my phone. I could take I could take a tablet, I guess, and do it. My phone probably could do it. I've never tried to do it with my phone. This is my phone. It's a Motorola, but it's, it's a track phone, which doesn't matter because it's got Wi-Fi access. So if I go to YouTube, if I go to YouTubes, if I go to YouTube and see if there's a live ad, go live. Okay. Okay. There it is. Go live down there. You know, you can't see it. Maybe you can. It says go live. There. It's down there. Go live. Never done it from my phone. Yeah, Ryan, I complain about myself all the time, too. Okay. So here's a picture of the jukebox at the old Eddie's Grill. There's a picture of our hot dogs that we had for dinner. There's, I'd love to have this sign, this old Coca-Cola sign. I'd love to have this. That is a great sign. There's Eddie's Grill. This is at Geneva on the Lake. Vince knows where it is. This place hasn't changed in a hundred fucking years. 
And there's their famous foot long. I didn't have a foot long. I can't take 12 inches. I can only take 6 inches of chili dog. So that was where we were at tonight. I, I, I guess I could go live with this phone. We could go live with Fred's phone, but we'd have to do it on Fred's you Oh, no, he doesn't have enough subscribers to go live. I'd have to log him in on my account, which is no big deal. See, he's got he's got a big fancy ass iPhone that he records with. That mine's mine's a Android. But the guitar channels, you know, you, you saw what I said about the Glarys, and, and I, there's this one guy, something Braun. Dale Braun, Andrew Braun, something guitars. Frickin' how good these Glaries are. And then, then the, the, these other guys. They, they've made a room, right? They've taken a room. And like, you know, I got a room here. But they, they get their room real clean. And they'll hang like 10 or 15 cheap ass piece of crap guitars iPhone suck for live and your phone would be better hmm they'll hang like like six ten cheap ass guitars behind them and then then try to convince you how freaking smart and intelligent they are and it's just unbelievable and they, when they play, they never play songs. It's, it's like, play riffs, you know, they just riff forever. They riff. I'm going to try it with my phone before the end of the month. We are booked. One twenty-two. Where's my twenty-two, twenty-three? Look. Okay, we're booked. Tomorrow the fifth. We're booked the twentieth. We're booked. Booked the twenty-seventh at a different place. Maybe I'll do it there. That's going to be an acoustic gig. And then in September we're playing the second, the tenth, and the eleventh. And the 10th and the 11th is a, a biker thing called Thunder on the Strip that they do every year. So one of those, one of those times I will uh, attempt to go live with my phone. My phone's got a good battery. It lasts a long time, but all I got to do really is plug it in. TD504, what's up, man? What's up? By the way, the subscript, the link to my Patreon is in the subscription. And Twitter, if you guys follow me on Twitter, man, I, I share all my videos to Twitter. And I tell funny jokes. Here, here's one of my new jokes. Just hanging and practicing a little bit on Thursday night. Cool. What's blue and smells like red paint? What is blue and smells like red paint? Blue paint.
Here's another one. What's brown and sticky? What's brown and sticky? A stick. I'm here all night, folks. I'm here all night. I'm here all week. My jokes are the best. I tell the best jokes. Boo. Prawn snake. Boo. Boo. Hiss. Come on. You know I'm funny on Sunday nights. You know I'm funny when I got Scott to set him up. And he doesn't even know he's doing it. He doesn't even know. Scott's just rambling. He doesn't even know he's setting up the jokes. Because we come up we come up with some good ones on Sunday night, man. I'm telling you. Uh, which I, too, I have to start thinning things out. I'm really struggling with it, with what to get rid of. It's like, do you just keep the best stuff and sell the rest? I want to keep my acoustics. I want to keep my Epiphone the John Lennon one. I want to keep my Taylor. I want to keep my Guild. I've got this Yamaha and an Elica I could sell. I want to keep my number one strap, which is sitting back there that needs refretted. I mean, it, it's playable. It doesn't totally need refretted, but it could use a refret. I've got all these other guitars. I should keep my first PV that I ever bought back in 1979. I should keep that T60. I should keep my Milestone. Keep a Falcon. Linda showed me that about the gear exchange. Cole, I don't need any more gear. And if you take Sweetwater credit for it, you pay no fees. Uh, that just means buying more stuff. But you know what? Maybe I could sell enough stuff to buy that Gerald Nichols, Gerald James Nichols, uh, Gold Top Les Paul that is one pickup, bridge pickup. That is a beautiful guitar. Well... PV Horizon 2, best guitar. Yeah, that single pickup gold top, that thing is nice. I mean, I've never played one, but I've watched videos of the guy playing it. And it's nice. Sold it to buy the Excelente. I'm not sure what an Excelente is. Oh, seagulls are great. Aren't seagulls Canadian? Like you, Ron Snake? Born and raised in Canada? Yeah. Yeah. Hey, you know what else is made in Canada, eh? Maple donuts. Maple glazed donuts. Okay, it's an acoustic. What are your Canadian PA speakers? Are they Trainer, Yorkville? I bet they're Yorkville. Or Trainer? Trainer was a Canadian company. Yorkville. Yeah, see? I know my shit. Take off, eh? Hey, Giddy, I got the letter from your lawyer. Hey, well, 10 bucks is 10 bucks, right? Home of the bearded clam. Yeah, well, Carbon is no more. It is now Kiesel. And PV didn't get ignored for a while. They started to get popular, but like everything else that's good, they went and 
rigged up the company. And I'll tell you, my opinion <laughs> is Eddie Van Halen ruined Peavy with his freaking Wolfgang guitar. Peavy built quality USA guitars at an affordable price. And then they hooked up with Eddie Van Halen and put everything into that freaking Wolfgang in the 5150. And they were expensive as hell. And that was the downfall of Peavy. That poovy. Peavy became poovy. They sure did. They became poopy. Poopy. If I can, if I can show it. There's two PV USA guitars, a Falcon and a Finger and a Falcon and a and a, a Milestone. Those are both 80s guitars from the 1980s. Beautiful guitars. I'll, I'll, that red one I gotta keep. I need to keep one Falcon. I, I have a, a red Falcon that's got Seymour Duncan pickups and a, a different Kaler bridge on it. It's got hey, hey, hey Blessed Bible Fight Club. Okay. Bruce. Bruce, I, I here's a question I have for you. As a devout heathen, to all the people of faith out there, <coughs> did you ever think about maybe the rapture already happened and only like three motherfuckers showed up and nobody noticed and like you weren't the chosen one? Think about it. That's a joke, by the way. Whether it be in bad taste or not, that's a joke. Hmm, something to think on, Brian Snake. You got it, buddy. It sure is. The rapture happened when all the good guitars disappeared. No, they're still out there. We just can't afford them anymore. We're the left behind. Are you the left behind or the right behind? When the Line 6 spider dropped. <laughs> oh, God. That's funny. I jump in on Bruce now and then. I always kind of derail the conversation because they're always they're always into this philosophical stuff and then I'll 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 sidetrack it but I had a line six spider amp and uh, I used it on the clean channel. It was a thirty watt amp, had a Celestian speaker in it. I used the clean channel. It was very, very light. Ran my pedals into it. It worked great. It had reverb. All the reverb you needed. People claim the first rap song was Blondie's Rapture. A Jack Russell. Oh, boy. Uh, well, I had three Jack Russells at one time, and they were a handful, but it was okay. English Bulldogs are hilarious, but... They got, they get breathing, they get breathing problems. Yeah, the Jerk Russell. Exactly. Jack Russell with a Floyd Rose. 
Jack White with a Floyd Russell. You know what I watched on free on YouTube movies last night was that thing it might get loud with Jack White, The Edge, and Jimmy Page. And it was it was kind of interesting. I I mean I, I made it through the whole the whole thing. It's like an hour and a half long. I made it through the whole thing, so it, it held my attention for an hour and a half. Yeah, and Bronze Snake, that won't change for about 12 or 13 years. Even when the dog gets really old. Yeah, you watch it too. They have life in them. They have life in them forever. Well, uh, uh, TD-504, I totally agree. Kid Wilson. Oh, no, he's eight years... Uh, Kid Wilson, he, he's eight years older than me. He gave me my first couple guitars. As a matter of fact, over the years, he's given me a lot of guitars. He gave me guitars, he gave me cars. He, he gave me uh, a lot of, lot of things. Gave me an inferiority complex. They're fun dogs, though, Jack. And, and uh, you won't have a rat problem with the cars and the guitars. He ate all the guitars, and he ate the guitars, and he ate the bars, and then he... Uh, thanks, Kid Wilson. The yeah, I, I love that strat, that buttercream strat. And I don't mean to e-bag, but after months and months and months, I'm only ten dollars away from a hundred dollar payout. On YouTube so keep that in mind as you watch it's you know it's the players strap Bruce it's 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 Mexico it's Mexico oh, it's heavy though I got the nice fender gig bag for it it's a uh, You know, I, I couldn't justify like 1500 bucks for the Mexico one, but th this is it. That's it. And it says, made in Mexico. It's got some about 75 years on here though. Fender 75, what, what is that, what's that about? What's that about, that 75? That big round thing there, it's a 75, you can't, it ain't gonna focus. Right? Come on, where's my finger? Right there. It's a 75, Fender 75. Uh, my PV Bandit 65 is a tank, but it weighs a ton. It weighs, it weighs way more. <laughs> 75 was when it was made as a vintage leftover. I wish. Uh, that was the CBS era of guitars, though. But, uh, I love the Bandit but it's really really heavy and it it's actually it's very very wow yeah. 
But yeah, I grabbed the Mexican strap, right? I've got I've got a 90s strap plus. This is my favorite guitar. This is a 94 Mexico Fender. This was the year the factory caught on fire and they were using a lot of American parts. But this has got Samarium Cobalt stacked humbuckers with the S1 switch that pushes in on the volume switch that puts them in series. And if you push it and put it in the middle, all three pickups are on at once, which is kind of cool. Now the switch is sticking. And I put a different pick guard on it and Spurzel tuners. But this has the vintage size frets on it. But this has the, the fastest neck I've ever seen. Oh my God, my hands hurt. You want to hear it? Man, it's probably not in tune, man. Here's a middle position. Push out button in. All three pickups are on. And the tone, the bottom tone works on the bridge pickup too. Guitar needs sprayed out. stacked humbuckers they're they've got that strap single coil sound un until you hit that s1 switch and then it then it fattens them up like like a humbucker yeah the guitar sounds great too bad the player sucks As soon as they told the hippies to stay away from the brown acid, the guys selling the brown acid sold out and bought a ranch in Yellowstone. <laughs> That's That sounds like what hippies would do, dude. Absolutely. You damn hippies. Goddamn hippies. That's hilarious. I was hoping to see John Pearson show up. I'll have to make one of my curmudgeon, curmudgeonly old man videos. Let's shine some light on it. 
Uh, uh, too much light. Yeah, <laughs> you got that right, man. She's in there playing. <coughs> you know that that uh I I am I am lucky that she is as determined as she is because it it really worked out for her me and her to play together because we take two cuts of the pay and we get to do things to, we get to play together we get to go places together we get to buy equipment together you should see this woman when you take her to a music store it's like turning an eight-year-old loose at a, in a candy store literally she wants to buy everything That program, Musician, it's called Musician, and she uses the bass version. They owe her. They actually owe her. She should be recognized as the most avid user of that program. John and Yoko, Paul and Linda, Mr. and Mrs. Edlington. TD504, I gotta go to your channel. Do you have any videos posted? Damn it. Go to channel. Famous bass lines, uh, Riders on a Storm. TD504, you need to put videos up on your YouTube channel. Uh, Riders on a Storm. Some other famous bass lines. Seven Nation Army, which wasn't really a bass. Uh, show me your band's channel then. Let me give you a wrench real quick, and you can post a link to your band channel. Okay, you now have a wrench for a minute. So post your band's channel, copy and paste the link to your band channel. There it is. Everybody go over there. Side effects. Subscribe. All right. I will check these out, man. Uptown Funk. Oh, man. Ain't no sunshine. Hit me with your best shot. Pour some sugar on me. Oh, my God. Oh, you guys got like a really big band. Alright, see, my wife can't do that. Oh, dude, that's awesome. Everybody go over there and subscribe. Okay, you're the organ player. I, I was guessing you were the guitar player. Where do you guys live? What what state do you live in?
New Orleans, North Louisiana, awesome, man. See, these are the kind of channels I like. People that post, you know, their band playing, not not sitting there unboxing guitar picks and underwear and showing me your freaking glary guitars and your upgraded squires and shit. New Orleans, man, that's a special place, I gotta tell you. Never been there, we need to go. Before it's all said and done. That is what my YouTube channel started as, exactly. Uh, but it morphed into what it is now. It, it was strictly a demo thing and then then I then I then I formed an opinion and it was all over for Ed it was all downhill from there No, you guys definitely got a really good sound. I, I will be checking that chant th those videos out tonight. Definitely. Three hundred nineteen views, and I only gave it just gave it the second like. Come on, people. That you know this this is another one of my gripes. People watch your video, and they can't hit the like button to help you out. Is it, it you know why? Is it, is it such a hard thing to just hit the frickin' like button? Oh, casinos would be a blast. That would be a blast. Yeah, everybody, we'll get you five or six subs here. <laughs> How'd you find my channel, TD504? With a fleur de lis? With a fleur de lis? Dana, Dana. Dana is French, by the way. Dana is a French name. Even though my wife is Italian. As hell. She's half Italian, half Irish, man. She's a Dago Billy. She can hit you in the head with a frying pan and make lasagna at the same time. YouTube algorithm, no shit. I thought I was shadow banned by the algorithm. Yeah, you, you, you look Italian, you have the dark hair. When nobody's around, my wife sits around and listens to Dean Martin, Frank Sinatra. Gil, how you doing, buddy? Ah, okay, you, you started watching Scott's stuff, yeah. Well, that's called a scotch key, Bronze Snake. You're a scotch key. Or a chair of Scott. Uh, I took a break from playing in bands, but never took a break from playing guitar. I did take a break from bands for a while when I had a job that it just wasn't a, a reasonable thing to do. I was I was making enough money, but I was working so much that I couldn't I just couldn't squeeze it in. I I, I it would have been too much. But I the name is French, Bronze Snake. But my father would tell you that we're mostly English and uh, hillbilly.
we don't have any ancestors on my father's side that like came over from the old country. They were here for 300 years and, or, you know, how, however many. Now my mother had some German, and my mom's German, so I'm German. Uh, neither one of me can handle booze. Yeah. <laughs> That's okay, that makes it interesting. My mother's German. Her mother and her father were German. And she had some grandparents in that that came over from Germany, but I I had never met them. They were long gone before I was born. Like I never knew my great grandmother. My my uh my mother is a great grandmother. I started playing guitar when I was about, I started taking lessons when I was like 10 or 11. Yeah. I asked my dad's name was Dick, you know, his name was Richard. I said, what's, what's it like being a dick all the time? He said, sometimes it's hard. I never asked him that question again. But TD504, you know, for people that post their band stuff, YouTube is a hard place, man. People would rather watch somebody hot rod a fucking glary guitar than hear a good goddamn local band, you know? And I, I just, I really wonder sometimes about musicians, about guitar, guitar people. They just... Fucking heads are in the wrong place, man. And I, I've got nothing against people working on guitars. You know that that's all well and good, but this over and over and over taking these glaries and fireflies. This this one guy, I watched a video last night of a guy holding up a flying V and an Explorer, and saying, "Before you buy a Gibson, check out these." And I clicked on the video, and lo and behold, they were frickin' Firefly guitars that were like 150 bucks. I said, dude, you're not gonna tell me that your $150 Firefly is as good or better than a frickin' Gibson. And I know a lot of people, Gibsons have their problems, but... Yeah, the, the clickbait shit. Bronze Snake, you leaving? Yeah, the clickbait shit is ridiculous. I mean, it sucks. And shredding is cool, but shred a song, you know? Not just a mindless frickin' two chords over and over and people shredding to it. You know, people keep asking, what's the best, what's the best guitar for a beginner to play? What's the best guitar for a beginner to buy? 
you know, if you're a beginner, probably any guitar, but go with the Fender Mexico stuff. I mean, if you've only got a hundred bucks to spend, then I, I honestly, I don't have an answer for you. Well, see, but Vince, a Squire Classic Vibe, that's, you know, that's uh, several steps up from fucking Glary and Firefly and... Got to walk the Jack Russell and the Bulldog. How's the Bulldog like the Jack Russell? Probably loving it, huh? If I remember right, you've got videos of that English Bulldog. Yeah, the classic vibes, are, you know, the prices are going up. And the uh, the Mexico Fender Player Series, they, they went from the 700-something range up to the 800 now, so they're going up. And I look, I look at guitars all the time, like every day, and... Prices are creeping, man. And I'm trying to justify buying the the Acoustasonic Telecaster, the Fender American Acoustasonic. Now they're two grand, but they've got now they've got the Mexico Players one for a grand. And I'm like, oh man, you know. The Mexico stuff is gotten really nice now. They got the two-point trim, and they're using the Alnico pickups. They the better stuff on them, and they're just put together better. Oh, yeah. Yeah. A lot of my guitars have gone up from what I paid for them. <laughs> so far, we are not in a recession. Not when people are buying guitars. But see, Fender just laid off like 300 people. And uh, uh, Dylan Talks Tone, Dylan McCurchy did a video about them laying off all those people. And, you know, it, it's kind of unclear of what their reason was. And, and they laid off some of the big executives. Oh, yeah. My 94 Mexico Strat, that was probably a $300 guitar. That was probably a $300 guitar. If that. Of course, in 1986, I paid 300 bucks for a made in Japan Squire when the Squires first came out when they were made in Japan and they were good guitars The problem with my guitars are they they're all every one of them is Players grade they're all beat up I, I am hard on things. Things get nicked up. They get banged up. They get dropped on stage. They get banged into mic stands and cymbal stands. And I've, I've slapped headstocks together with Linda, you know. It, so I don't have anything that's in pristine condition. Nothing except my Guild Acoustic, which is brand new. And all I got to do is play that for another six months, and it will no longer be in pristine condition. Linda keeps her shit really, really nice. She takes really, really good care of her stuff. 
yeah, the Japanese tellies and the Japanese straps are, are amazing, even now. The Getty Lee jazz bass was strictly made in uh, Japan. Yeah, I play hard too. I got heavy hands. I got a really heavy right hand. My favorite body design is a Stratocaster. Although I do really, really like this $139, $29 Epiphone Les Paul Special with P90 pickups in TV yellow. I love this little guitar. For 130 bucks to have it sitting here, banging headstocks, that's a good band name, that is. The extra button, what extra button? No, it, it's just volume, tone, and a three position switch for neck, both bridge near P90s. My 94 Strat has that extra button, the S1 switch. It's in the volume switch that you press down and it puts the pickups in series. Oh, this one's plugged in. But it's a it's a Almond Brothers song, but Molly Hatchet did it better, in my opinion. In my opine. Yeah, I like P90s. That's the only guitar I got with P90s. We used to do Hold On Loosely. Or I did, not in this band. This band, this band's weird, uh, okay? If you, if you watch our videos and watch what we play, we've got a weird uh, eclectic selection of songs, and it nothing too rock over rock and rollish. It's all, it's all revamp folk music, country, and you know old pop music. It, I mean, we actually do stuff like, uh... You're just too good to be true Can't keep my eyes off of you 
You're just like heaven to touch I wanna hold you so much Long as love has arrived I thank God I'm alive You're just too good to be true Can't take my eyes off of you You know, we do stuff like that. We've done stuff like Glamour Boy, get your costume on. You got them lined up waiting for you, Glamour Boy. We've done a. We've done. I should laugh. But I cry because your love has passed me by. You took me by surprise. I didn't realize that you were waiting. Time goes slowly, but carries on. And now the best years have come and gone. You took me by surprise I didn't realize That you were laughing Laughing What you doing to me Laughing The way it should be I like singing when my brother is singing with me Because, you know, our voices are similar He's actually got a higher voice, but uh, when he's singing harmony on top of me, I really, really like it. Okay, one nineteen hour and 19 minutes. Uh, the thumb pick. I used to play with the thumb pick and finger picks a lot. And then I went to the thumb pick and these fingers, but these fingers don't work anymore. They're, they're doing this right now is hard. It's a struggle to just do that. So I can get this finger going a little bit. I can get that one going in there. Uh, I'll, I'll see. I'll use it. I'll switch between the thumb pick and the flat pick during the gig and see how it goes. The slick picks. Okay, I, I know what those are. Oh man, I got a whole drawer full of picks over here. I bought tons of fucking picks. I bought a ridiculous amount of picks. I'm not going to pull them all out. I got bags of picks in here that just... Yeah. Picks everywhere. Super glue a regular pick onto my thumb. You know. Yeah, have a good night, Bruce. It was good to see you. Thanks for stopping in. Guys, I'm gonna take off too. It's it's twenty after eleven. It's eleven fifteen, eleven sixteen. We've been going for an hour. Uh, I appreciate everybody popping in, though, and hanging out. We had a good conversation. Even though I didn't get to my curmudgeonly... Here go stuff. TD504, I'm going to go watch your stuff right now. Kid Wilson, do you have videos? Let me go to your channel. You do have videos. Oh shit, you got a lot of subscribers. Cleveland Browns? Oh my god, you're a Cleveland boy. Kid Wilson, you don't live in Madison, do you?
to Sean Watson. Can't right, tell me what this title says. Deshaun Watson is a is a Brown. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah. Bye bye, Baker Mayfield. Okay, that was a couple months ago. Deshaun's in trouble now. Dumb fuck. All right, subscribe. Okay, Kid Wilson, I sub. Sub me back. All right, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, if nothing else, I'll see you guys Sunday night. And I'm out.